What's up guys, welcome to my channel. So recently I just uploaded a video on how to style bean boots. If you guys haven't looked at it yet, definitely go by and check it out. I'll include a link below. But this video, I just want to go ahead and throw out um, some opinions that I have now. I've owned them for a couple years now that I wish I had known before purchasing them. And that they will probably help you too because reading reviews on the website don't really help. So I'll just go ahead and straight into it. So as you guys know, um, bean boots do originate from the state of Maine. They're mainly up north, so I don't have no bean boot stores down here where I could physically go in and try them on. I have to order them online, but um, they really are a staple outfit for any southern girl. Um, I really main wear them mainly for rain boots, um, really nothing more because they are heavy. Um, I don't know if it's just because my sizing is just a little off, but it is real leather and they are handmade. So when you order it, your bean boots, they do come with a little card with the name of the person that made your boots, which is really cute. But um, I want to go ahead and start saying that the main issue about bean boots that everyone should know is the sizing. My feet are a definite size 8 no matter what brand. I've never had any issues being a half size upper or lower. I've always been an exact 8. Um, my mistake first ordering my boots was I thought I could, you know, get the same exact size and I totally ignored the reviews on the website and I went ahead and ordered a size 8 in a wide width. My feet are unnaturally wider than most feet so I just thought it would work so when they came in they were huge. I'm talking about like I was wearing my dad's boots. So I had to send them back and um, I went down a size lower 7 I think the the width of my shoes is actually a medium. I don't know if I could, if you guys could probably see, but the size is in here, 7 medium. Um, these shoes are actually probably a half inch larger. My feet, they, there's still room before the tip of the toe. So I would probably recommend for me, if you're exact 8, I would probably get a 7 narrow because it is pretty wide still. Even with thick socks, they don't really fill up because I've worn these to go up to the mountains to go snowboarding. And they do have insulated boots. I do not have the insulated ones. I just have the regular 8-inch duck boots. And um, I've worn them with insulated socks and they didn't really keep my feet warm. So that's why I would not recommend these for really cold regions. I'm not sure. My feet were freezing when I was up in North Carolina. Like I said, these are really great for rain boots rather than snowy boots. And that if you are in the scenario region, definitely invest in the insulated boots rather than the regular ones that I have here. But if you're really concerned about your sizing and you don't want to take a gamble, don't make your mistake like me. Definitely contact their customer service. They encourage that. Call them up. Um, really let them know like, oh, I'm a size this in Nike. Kind of give them an idea of what your shoe size is and they'll really recommend the best fit for you. That's what my boyfriend did when he got his bean boots. And although they are a bit big on him too, I'd really kind of take that in consideration because bean boots only come in whole sizes. They don't come in half sizes, which um, I would have recommended for you guys because like I said, my sevens are still a little bit roomy. A six and a half would have worked great for me, but they do not have half sizes, unfortunately. So if you're thinking about it, I'd probably try a six. I mean, it, it's better than um, having to drag your feet around a little because of that extra room makes it harder to walk. But sevens, they they work fine for me. I can always, I guess, add more socks, but it's, it's there's, you know. But other than the sizing, um, I've had these boots for about three, four years now. Um, they've been holding up really well. I feel like um, my heel, it's not worn to the ground yet, but if they were exact size, then they would still be brand new because I do drag my feet since they are a little bit bigger and they're a little heavy to keep picking up my feet every single time. And um, yeah, so really get your exact true size because it really determines how well your boot keeps up instead of tearing the heel down to the very bottom. But other than that, I haven't had any issues. They're really great. The leather is really well made. And it honestly goes with a bunch of outfits that I'm surprised to find out because that was one of the other issues that I was worried about because um, I do like collecting shoes that are different and um, these I would say are a different version of Tim's, Timberland's and they work really well. Timberland's wouldn't have fit my style, these were better and they're different. 
But other than that, I do wear my boots loose at the top rather than having to tie them constantly every time I slip them on. Now, um, tying this tight the regular way wouldn't change how the, the fit of my feet. It would still be loose either way. So I just go, went ahead and made it easier on myself every time I slip them on that I could just pull it, put my feet in, and be on the go. But I would definitely stress the fact that you should contact customer service just to call them. And they're really friendly. They'll really help you. And if not, just go ahead and pay the shipping to return it and maybe try a six if it fits your feet because I don't normally wear thick socks. But on another note, in my video where I styled my bean boots, I actually wore two of their socks that I've ordered from their website. And they are really great because they're tube socks and unlike normal socks to where you wear them and um, they kind of wear and tear over the years and you have to throw them out. These actually go back to the normal foot size after every wash and I've had these for two to three years and they f they shrink back to the normal size and they get back tight and it, it's I don't know how to explain it I don't know if I'm explaining it right but they do shrink back to the normal size to like brand new and they fit really good and they go really well with the boots as well I went ahead and got this color as with the beige color because they're both two colors that match with almost everything. Um, these were about $20, but after you order your bean boots, they actually send you, I think, a $10 coupon as a thank you and for you to return. So definitely make an account when you order your boots. My 8-inch boots costed me $120, I believe, which I feel like they are a really good investment. And there is a lifetime guarantee. Definitely read up on that. Um, these boots are a really good investment. They'll last you forever. But that's pretty much it. If I left anything out, um, if you guys want to know how to make the knot that I made on my boots, definitely go ahead and comment down below. But I'll catch you guys next week. DNA, hey.